stop what you're doing. I have goosebumps. I'm out in the rain recording because this is one of those scientific announcements where this is big. Check out this mouse. This is a woolly mouse. Here is your woolly mouse compared to a normal mouse. Now this has been gene edited by the colossal team, the team working to bring back the woolly mammoth. A paper has been published on this woolly mouse. It was just released this morning. I'm going to be going to the gym. I'm going to dive deep into that paper while I'm there. I'll make another video later, but we need to talk about like this is a big announcement. So the basics, they have took their understanding of the woolly mammoth genome and certain phenotypes. So like traits like the woolly coat or fat that helped them adapt to that environment that they lived in. They identified those genetic variants and then they looked for similar variants within the common mouse. They wanted to test their idea. They took the embryo with genetically modified traits, they implanted it into a female mouse. That mouse had its babies and this is the result. It is it is a proof of concept. Now it is a mouse, it is not an elephant, but this this is the same idea they think is going to allow them to recreate the woolly mammoth or at least part of it, but a big part. Like, look at that. I am team colossal at this point. I have been back and forth over the last few years. My students over the last five years, they have like, they have seen me go back and forth on this because at times I did feel like it was, it was narcissistic to try to bring back things like the mammoth when we have so many animals already endangered and going extinct that future generations won't be able to see. It means a lot to me that my kids and my grandkids live on a planet where there are wild gorillas and tigers. But that's not the case here. Like, it is not either or. The money that Colossal is using is supercharging our conservation right now. Like, I don't know about you, but I have got to the point where I have realized the government, people like that are not going to do what we need to protect these animals. It is kind of looking like it's going to take people like Colossal and their research into bringing back things like the woolly mammoth has already helped all over the place. Like look into what they have done with Asian elephants, for example. There is a herpes virus that has been decimating them, especially within zoos. It's like one of the number one causes of death within these zoos of Asian elephants. In fact, it may be number one. I'll fact check it and I'll put it up there. But because they don't want that happening to their mammoths and because they care about conservation as a whole, they were able to create the first mRNA vaccine to take on this herpes virus. They're, they're doing a lot of good.